JC AutoCAD 2006 included many enhancements, um, dynamic input, for example, dynamic blocks. It seemed to be the dynamic release. Uh, what is your reaction to dynamic blocks? Do you find those beneficial? Heidi, I think you're absolutely right. When we look at dynamic blocks and when I teach it in my college classroom or in my ATC, one of the things that people really are enthralled about are the ability to use dynamic blocks with visibility settings. So instead of having five, six, seven to ten blocks, we can create one dynamic block that has all of those in there and just click through the different type of visualizations we want of that block. So it really reduces the block library, the number of blocks that you might have in your library. Absolutely, greatly reduces that size. And uh, for the person that's editing, because we know that most of working in AutoCAD is editing, right? <laughs> Yeah, I really like Heidi is the block edit tool because now you know when I ask people how do you edit a block and people say well we're going to explode a block well the answer is no we don't want to do that no. we really want to use the block edit tool and go into the block edit environment to be able to make those changes and modifications and then of course save that back to the current workspace that we're working in yeah that's a good point <laughs> and uh, I think it was 2006 where we have the ability to law to um, prevent exploding speaking of exploding that's the properties in the block mm -hmm. edit. so yeah great those are good tools and dynamic blocks something just incredibly powerful absolutely all right thanks